at my favorite Korean store. Let's see what I can show you guys. At the pop-up dinner I had in Houston a week ago, everybody was asking me about this apple kimchi that I made. And actually it was the first time I ever utilized apples to make a kimchi. Now I probably could just call it good and use something like this, but it's always good to just make your own, you know? So that's what I'm gonna do. I love how the label for the apples is just all kinds. We've got all kinds of apples here. I don't know what the fuck that means, but that's, that's a solid label. For my apple kimchi, I used green apples and they were really good because they have like a nice sourness to them. So I might end up using that. Although I do love pink lady apples. Here in Washington, we have an abundance of apples, obviously, because it's the apple state. So it could be kind of overwhelming. Currently my favorite are sugar bees. I don't see them here, so I'm not gonna be able to use sugar bees. I think it might be fun to also do an orange kimchi. That'd be pretty good. I love the produce section at this H Mart. It's a little bougier than most H Marts that I've been to. It's just super nice. This one is in Bellevue. What I like about this Korean grocery store is you have an abundance of ginger. So there's regular, and then there's this organic stuff. So you have two options. I mean, this stuff is so nice. There's still dirt on it. I don't know if I'm the only one that does this, but I'll put my hand on the little water spout to wet my fingers for the bag. Works every time. Of course, when making kimchi, you gotta have scallions. That's a must. Okay, just a little heads up. These guys are fucking delicious. Lots of sugar, but really good. I also do love the banana milk. That's really bomb. I tried these, these are horrible. Don't ever try these, they're disgusting. Really nice bottles, but disgusting. Also another reason why to love the Korean grocery stores is the abundance of just kimchi options. Just look at that. You also gotta appreciate their cooking sections. Look, where else are you gonna get a knife that has a floral pattern on it? Now I just need some gochujang. Oh, actually some mirin, yeah. Okay, usually when you go <clears throat> to any regular store, you're not gonna see this. An extensive aisle of mirins and rice vinegars, just insane. Like, isn't that the nicest apple vinegar you've ever seen? Or this lemon vinegar? This is what I want. I'm actually doing a brand deal with these guys today, so I'm just gonna pick up a bag. Ahinomoto, so this is MSG, monosodium glutamate. There's a lot of stigma behind this that it's bad for you and it gives you headaches, but no, that's far from the case. There's actually MSG in a lot of things, like tomatoes, for example, cheese, MSGs in so many things. I love this stuff. I also love using natural forms of it, such as mushrooms, yeast, tomatoes, like I said, again, tomato paste. Natural forms of MSGs are great, but if you want to add a little bit of that flavor, you can do it with this as well. This is the main thing that you're gonna need whenever you're making kimchi, and there is so much of this stuff here. And that is Korean chili flake, I mean, look, Take your pick. So much Korean chili flake. This is the brand that I'm used to. An entire freaking aisle of gochujang. I'm gonna FaceTime my friend and see if she could tell me what brand to buy. FaceTime Jessica Wu. I need you to, uh, I need you to tell me what gochujang to buy. Are you ready? I'm taking it fast. <laughs> Which one do I get? You're going too fast. Okay. Get the Sampio one or, or the one next to it. Or that one? Yeah. Which one do you prefer? Um, get the one on the left. The one on the left? All right, Bento Box Queen said get the one on the left, so we're getting the one on the left. You want some sliced Napa kimchi? You got it. You want all the banchan? You've got it. You want some soy cured marinated eggs? You've got it. You want some soy cured quail marinated eggs? You've got it. I mean like endless things here. Even if you want to make your own hot pot at home, they've got all the sliced meats for that. My gosh, look at those ribs. Those look so good. These are like crack to me. I fucking love these. Turtle chips are so bomb. I'm gonna be making two kinds of kimchi here. These are for later. I'm gonna be making one kind of kimchi actually.
this is gonna be my base that I'm adding into my apples. Tasty. At the pop-up dinner that I recently had, people were asking me about this and how I came up with it. Um, honestly, I just wanted something with apples to go with the galbi short rib and kimchi just made sense. Kimchi just made sense. Um, there was even someone that asked me for the recipe. So I just whipped out his notepad and uh, I typed it down for him in his little notepad. Base, Korean chili flake. I'm very generous on this stuff. I love it spicy. Citric acid for a little brightness and pop. MSG. And that is apple kimchi. Now this can go in the fridge with the rest of my preserves. Preserves are growing. They really are. 